Uh, hi. Um, I'll be teaching um, connected speech to my B1 plus uh, general English class, and uh, we will be uh, discussing a such feature of connected speech as constant vowel linking. Um, the majority of my group uh, said that they there is a need for them to improve the general, the overall level of English and listening skills and also pronunciation skills because they've uh, noticed that sometimes they get misunderstood by the native speakers uh, because they mispronounce words or they mispronounce them in rapid speech and, which is more important for us in this context, that they uh, understand the word on paper but they can't recognize it in fluent speech, in rapid speech. So, the uh, lesson that we're having is on friendship. Uh, this is the second le uh, the second lesson on the course. So we've just met. This is a new group. They have never done any phonetics before. Uh, uh, and they don't know what connected speech is. Uh, so we will be doing the target language, target lexical chunks that we uh, study in this lesson are phrasal verbs uh, that are connected with relationships, such as, or friendship such as get on well, have a lot in common, uh, to fall out, to keep in touch, to have an uh, argument with someone. So before we will first deal with the uh, form and the meaning of phrasal verbs, uh, they will, uh, they will, um, this target language will be presented to them uh, with the help of the text, listening text. Uh, and then we will do um, pronunciation. For pronunciation, uh, as far as it's the second uh, lesson, uh, it will be scaffolded f immediately. So they will have these lexical chunks in front of them. And I would ask them to, to listen uh, and say, to listen to these chunks once again after they've done uh, a couple of comprehension tasks on the listening text and say how many uh, words they hear. So hopefully they would say one in, for example, getting well, or uh, fall out is also one, or two in have a lot in common. Uh, I will uh, note down the weak forms. Uh, I will note down the stress because that gives the right rhythm to the language. And uh, then we will practice vowel consonant. Uh, and I would try to elicit where we have the link why we hear one word instead of two, why we hear two words instead of four. Uh, so hopefully they would say that the words are linked. I would notice where they link and why they link, why they're linked. And uh, then we would do dr drilling, choral individual drilling and substitutional drill with the whole class, where I would, uh, my target would be to keep the rhythm of the target language uh, because the combination of uh, stressed and unstressed uh, syllables uh, gives the right natural speed of the language. Uh, so we would go, for example, I have a lot in common with my mom. Um, the next student would go, I have a lot in common with my sister. I have a lot in common with my brother. I have a lot in common with my boyfriend, etc. As for uh, then we would have the productive stage where they would uh, draw a diagram of their own friendship circles. And they will work in groups of three, where one person would be describing their friendship circle using the target language. Uh, the second person would be noticing uh, the target language itself, uh, whether the person used or did use or didn't use. And, the and then um, the third person would notice uh, pronunciation of the target language. I guess that's it. Thank you.